This is to show how to perform a practice, the service of the 12 blessings, on your own. And what you need, want to do first of all is find somewhere uh, in your home where you can be alone, where you can be undisturbed. And then when you've found such a place, then you want to just settle yourself down, um, either through some deep breathing or mantra, uh, some kind of meditation practice, whatever works for you, to prepare yourself, to attune yourself to the vibration and the energy which you are going to invoke through this very sacred, very mystical practice of the Twelve Blessings. Now, I always use a pendant. Uh, this is from one of the, a stone from one of the 19 holy mountains of the world, uh, like that. Uh, let's assume I've done, uh, I do mantra and I, I do pranayama yoga breathing, uh, generally speaking, before the practice of the Twelve Blessings. And then we begin, you can download the, the prayers and blessings if you don't have them from this website. Uh, and then we, we begin naturally with the first blessing. Blessed are they who work for peace. Now what we're doing here, and you'll see I had my hands raised because we send out the energy and you'll feel it. You'll feel this energy coming down through the top of your head, out through your arms, out through the palms of your hands. It's a tremendously powerful force of white light and you'll also want to direct it from your heart center because this is what we're doing. We're channeling energy with this practice. We begin, as I say, with the first blessing, blessed are they who work for peace. And what we're doing in this practice is we are picturing uh, in our mind all of those who are working for peace, in whatever form, peace workers on this earth, but also masters from around and beyond this earth, the whole group soul, the energy of peace. We're sending our energy to those who work for peace. And then we allow, we allow this energy to flow from us for anything up to a minute, in point of fact. This is how we can extend our practice. You'll find uh, a balance for yourself. And then you'll feel that energy coming back to you. You've invoked it. You've knocked on the door of those who are working for peace. That energy then comes back to you, infuses you. You feel it. And then we go into the prayer. And almost all of the prayers, all but one in point of fact, are for the upliftment of the world, for the upliftment of mankind. And so we go into the prayer. Now, ideally, again, you will learn the prayer. You'll know the prayer off by heart so that you haven't got to be thinking it or reading it. You know it. And when you know that prayer, then again, you can picturize everything that is being verbalized by the Master Jesus in that prayer. That is the first blessing. Then we go to the second blessing. Blessed are the wise ones, for they walk through a dark and ignorant world, spreading their light. Now, there is no prayer at the end of the second blessing, but we still direct our energy, our mental energy, to the group soul of, of the, literally the wise ones, great masters, uh, living and, to our understanding and belief, perhaps not living at this moment in time, on earth, but those who have given us great spiritual wisdom throughout the ages. And we're sending our love and, in, and thought to this group soul. And then again, that energy comes back to us. And where there is no prayer, such as this particular blessing, we generally say, so endeth the second blessing. And we proceed in this way, right the way through each time directing our energy to the focal point of the blessing. And this, again, pertains to the sort of tremendous power and magic of this practice, because you're going deeper and deeper and deeper into the cosmos. And then for the twelfth blessing, we stand. And at this point, having been through all of the previous 11 blessings, it's like stepping stones. We've taken an, another step deeper and deeper and deeper into the blessings. 
the last one of which, or the eleventh blessing, is a blessing to the supreme lords of creation. And there's a wonderful line in there, these are the gods of the gods. In my understanding, these are the gods of the galaxies. These are the gods of the suns. These are the gods of the planets, the gods of the supreme lords of karma. These are the gods of the gods. This is, this is where the Twelve Blessings is, in, in a way, well, is, is so sublime. It's so sublime. It takes you into a very practical level of spirituality that I would say is, at this point, very rare. Very rare. And so you've been taken to this very, very, very deep, um, pinnacle or level of spirituality, both externally but also internally. You've really, 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 or rather you've gone very deep. You've gone very, very deep into mysticism and power, and power, spiritual power. And so you're now going to use what you've created in the twelfth blessing to the Absolute. And here in the twelfth blessing, having gone from the gods of the gods, in the twelfth blessing, not even the supreme lords of all creation can do justice to the picturization of the magnificence of God. So it's just exponential, the, this whole practice. We stand, um, if you have the book, I recommend, of course, that you do have the book, and we read or recite, if we've learned it, the whole of the Twelfth Blessing. So we've invoked this energy to the Absolute. That energy comes back to us in the most profound way, and we channel it out into the mind belt of our world to uplift the people of this world. And that is what this practice is all about, how you can do it, how we need to do it at this time. This is what is going to change the world more than anything else in a lasting, enduring, and correct way. So that's the 12 blessings. Uh, you can do, of course, the last blessing. It's a wonderful way of, of completing the practice, uh, sending your prayers to the Master Jesus. And that's it. Uh, that's, you're good to go. And uh, I, I wish you the very best of luck with it.